In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a real world review of the autofocus on the Canon R6. And in particular, I'm gonna be looking at the animal autofocus to see if it performs as good as everyone's saying. Now for the video today, as you can see, I'm using an Atomos Ninja, and this is so I can show you guys exactly what I'm seeing when I'm taking photos. I'm also hand holding the camera like this, so the footage may not be quite as smooth as it usually is. Now the first animal that I actually came across here was a horse in a field. Now the stabilization is switched on the lens, which on this lens I'm shooting at 300 millimeters and I've got about four stops of image stabilization. I'm also using the IBIS, which is five stops in the Canon R6 II. Now, shooting at 300 millimeters for today's test, you can see that the autofocus is working really well. At the moment, you can see that I'm bouncing quite easily between the animal's body and the animal's head here. Now the horse doesn't seem to be too happy about this photo shoot, but hey ho, this is going ahead. Now, you can see here that the autofocus is locking onto the horse's body comfortably. And the fact that the horse is not moving too quickly might not mean that this is the most difficult subject to photograph. But what I will say is I'm shooting at about 400 meters away. So it is pretty far. Here you can see that the horse whisperer has arrived and you can see that he's gently calming down the horse after the horse is very stressful photo shoot. In all seriousness, this is my dad and he seems to be striking a very nice bond here, the horse. Now we decided to up the ante here and actually test out the animal autofocus on some very small birds. Now I'm really shocked that Canon didn't mention to us their new autofocus feature, ear autofocus. Okay, so honestly, I could have swapped this over to the eye. I just thought it was quite funny that he thought his eye was actually his ear. Now all we had to do was just spend a little bit of time waiting for the birds to turn up and we didn't have to wait long. Now what's incredible about this is how quickly the autofocus locks onto these small birds. And they are really small birds, by the way. I'm not photographing big birds here, like big birds of prey. I mean, these are really tiny and you can see that the result there was nice and sharp. Now just when I thought the birds had disappeared and they'd only graced us with their company for a short amount of time, if you look in the background, you can see a little bird deciding to make his entrance from the side. Okay, from the top. So he drops down on the food here and straight away the autofocus locks onto his head. I'm so amazed by what a good job the autofocus is doing here. I mean, he even picks the bird out from next to the log, straight on his face. When he pops back up, the autofocus straight on the bird again. It's really remarkable how much this has come on and I'm really, really pleased that Canon have introduced this to their new line of cameras. Now I'm really not surprised at all here that when I spotted this robin in the tree that the autofocus had an issue picking it up because it's nicely obscured behind some branches. But then, surprisingly, it actually found the robin's head. And as you can see from this photograph, it's really nice and sharp when zoomed in close. I wanted to see if the Canon R6 Animal Eye Autofocus mode would actually pick out people well, and it does. In fact, it picks out three of them, the guy behind and the guy behind him. Now I've got to mention here that I'm shooting at a ridiculous distance of around about six to 700 meters away and it's locking onto my dad's face with no problems at all. My mind is actually blown by how much this autofocus has come along and how much of a good job Canon have done. Now right at the end of the day, I decided to stop off at some bird feeders and shoot through some different objects just to see if the autofocus would be able to pick out the birds here between the poles and the bird feeders. And as you can see, it's doing a really good job. Occasionally it swaps over to the bird feeder, but most times it bounces back to the bird and I'm able to take quick photos here, which end up being nice and sharp. Thank you. 
I'm actually really stunned by how good the autofocus is when shooting animals. Now shooting these small birds is really quite a big challenge for any autofocus system. So the fact that it's doing some really impressive hit rates on these birds in tricky situations is mind blowing. To sum up this review guys, the autofocus or the animal eye autofocus on this camera is phenomenal. Now I can't compare it against the Sony's latest animal autofocus system, which I also hear is very good but I am definitely excited about doing that in the near future. I wanna thank you for joining me in today's video and if you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you do. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.